Good morning, friends. It's Dr. Michelle Bankson coming to you with another hope-filled perspective. I am not at home in Texas right now. I am visiting my college boy in Florida and taking just a couple days to rest. But can I be honest with you and tell you that resting is hard for me. Waiting is hard for me. I would, good morning Michelle, I would much prefer um, God to give me like three major projects with bar and burner deadlines. That's easier for me than resting. Um, and this morning was the first day in a long time that I actually took time just to sleep in. I, um, quite honestly, if there had been a sunrise, I wouldn't have um, slept in, but it was raining here this morning. Anyway, I wanted to share with you just some thoughts and reflections that I've been having this week, but I want to show you what I see. Let me see if I can find it. I can't see my screen right now, so I can't see where to flip the camera around. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it. I don't know where to let me zoom in. I I'm on my walk this morning and there's so many little ponds here and look at the trees. Do you see the white herons? There's a couple gray herons and a bunch of egrets and this just seems to be their waiting place. Good morning Regina. And as I look at that Beautiful. And as I was walking and just taking in the beauty of nature, I just thought about the verse where God says, Why do you worry? Why do you fret? Don't I take care of the birds? I will take care of you as well. And this morning I came across this sanctuary for these egrets and herons. And the ones close to the shore caught my attention because there's so many. Look at, look at. But the ones up in the trees caught my attention too because they have a different vantage point. And I thought about how so often my vantage point is just so close to whatever my issues and problems are. Is so close and and I think that I can see really well what the problem is and I want to start fixing it but I'm watching these birds and they're not in a hurry some of them y'all have been standing here for 20 minutes while I've been snatching pictures okay they've been waiting they have not been in a hurry they're willing to wait and God's gonna take care of them they're all gonna be fed they're not competing with each other there's not snapping at each other they're not fighting with each other they're just willing to wait and then I looked up in the trees I don't know if you can see them there's quite a few way up high. Good morning, Michelle. And as I've been watching them, there's some flying above. Oh my goodness, there's several flying over me right now. But none of them are fighting, and none of them are in a hurry. They're just gliding, they're just enjoying life. They know that their provision's gonna come. They're resting and waiting. They're not worried. They're not anxious. And I don't know about you, but so often I get caught up worrying about how I'm gonna solve a problem or where the finances are gonna come from. But they're not. And the ones up high, they have a different vantage point from the ones that are down low. 
They can see so much better. They can see further. They can see more. And I think that just reminds me of God because God's vantage point is different from ours. He knows the end from the beginning. He's not worried. He's never in a hurry. We never hear about Jesus running to his next appointment to heal somebody. It was all in his Father's timing. And so this morning I want to encourage you, I don't know what you're waiting on God for. I don't know what you've been hoping would come to pass. But I want you to think about these birds because they're willing to wait on God. They're trusting. They're not anxious about what's going to come next. And I think that's a challenge to us. Can we stand? Can we wait? The other thing that it makes me think of is they're not sitting down. They're all standing. And we are called to stand and resist against our enemy. The enemy that seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. We have to stand and resist. We can't ignore his presence, but we don't have to focus on him so much either. We keep our eyes on the Father. We trust the Father. We know that he's going to fight for us. We need only be still. And we trust his provision. So when we hear those lies in our head that say, you're all alone, that is a lie. When we hear the lie that says, it's all up to you. No, it's not. It's up to our Heavenly Father to fulfill the promises he's made to us in his word. So your hope-filled perspective today is that if the birds can wait... Not that I know of. Oh. All right. okay. Have a good day. Sorry, y'all. Somebody wanted to know if there were alligators here in this pond. I think they got rid of all those. Anyway, your hope-filled perspective is that if the birds can wait on God to provide, then so can we. So, until next time, this is Dr. Michelle Bankson with your hope-filled perspective. I pray you have a hope-filled day.